Hey guys, uh, this is my nighttime or early morning time test driving on the HID lights. Um, not sure if you can see very clearly, but it's a lot better than um, the stock ones, as you can see. Well, I don't know if you can see, but you know, these are actually white, bright white um, HIDs. Uh, the bulbs are like H11. That's the size for a 2006 uh, Lexus IS250. I'm not sure if it is uh, the same any other year, but this is a 2006 uh, Lexus IS250. And the uh, the headlights are um, H11 bulb size. The fork lights are actually 909006. That's that's basically the size of it. It's 9006 for the fork lights. The fork lights actually have it blue, which is why in front of it is kind of like bluish compared to the front of it there is white because uh, the fork lights I have it uh, as like um, the, the blue HID kits, okay? And um, yeah, if you're getting, if you're thinking about getting HID lights and you want to see the difference, you know, if you're having vision problems, and you think that you know you need better size bulbs hids are not the bad they won't be bad they won't be a bad thing you know it's definitely way brighter than um your stock ones i'm gonna try and catch up to this guy and i'm hoping he has the stock um yellowish yeah i think he does actually so let's catch up to him a little bit sooner and um you can see a little bit of a you can see the difference versus he's as you can see he's just so yellowish over there compared to how mine is bright white so yeah um if you want something different you want something you want you want to see some more you're having problems seeing signs at night and um you want some some more vision you can definitely get some hids uh, uh i hope this helps you with your decision and um i'll basically do some more upgrades some more mods uh, one thing that does suck about doing the HIDs, you might want to take it to a professional because there's a lot of parts that you have to take off in order to get to your bolts, which really sucks. You know, it really sucks for those that designed this car, Lexus, the, the Nexus, and I believe the Nissan 350Z has the same problem where um, you actually have to remove the bumper just to get to your bolts which sucks and um, actually the Lexus is actually built the same way that you're supposed to really uh, take off the bumper so that you can get better access to your fork lights and uh, headlights without you know struggling but uh, with the HIDs on mine I didn't have to, I didn't take off the bumper or, or, or anything I mean the fork lights were pretty tight I had to, <clears throat> excuse me, I had to take off the wheel cover, at least, well, move it slightly, and it was very tight to try and get to the fog lights, and the headlights, I had to take off the filter uh, box, I had to take that off, and um, on that's on your left, and then on your right, uh, there's some parts you're going to have to take off there as well, and just, just to try to get to it, and uh, the plastic cover on top of it too. I mean, you intention you're gonna break some clips. You might want to get some backup clips because I broke a couple of them. I didn't even put the the cover back because you know I'm thinking I'm gonna do I'm gonna change my HID lights and go blue uh, to match the fog lights because I kind of like the outlook of the of the blue ones rather than the white ones. The white ones are pretty great. They definitely you can see uh, much better, and um, they're. I think they're like 5,000 K as you can see this darker area um, you can see this is not actually my full lights you see this is not that, that's not even my full lights man um, I have HIDs on my full lights as well but you know you know they take a second to warm up that's that's the disadvantage to it when you put uh, HIDs on your fork lights um, if I do plus it I did just place it right now and it's not doing anything right now because it has to warm up then it has to brighten up and all that so um, don't don't do HID. Actually, no. I got L yeah 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 yeah. I got HIDs on that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. I'm gonna change it to LEDs. That's what that's the plan is. I'm gonna change it to LEDs and see how that turns out. 
because they said LED is an option. option. It's supposed to just do a short video and you know that's really what I wanted to do and I started blabbering so um, these are low beams for those of you that don't know they're not high beams they are low beams and um, you get better vision when you get HIDs than when you get your regular stock bulbs uh, the HID kit um, it's a 55 watts that I got and it cost me about 60 bucks over in Atlanta if you're in Atlanta and you're thinking about it I mean I know a guy that does sell them for 60 bucks and um, he has the cheaper ones they're 35 watts for like 40 bucks or and there's another place that sells them for 35 but he's closer to me so that's why I just ride it and get it so yeah I'm at work now so I'll see you guys in a bit all right take care bye